the Cotto Precision Railroad models, smooth side passenger car, Chicago Northwestern, six car set, the one in the back, and the four car set, the uh, four car edition set, the one in the front. Now this review might go a bit long today since we're going to be have to review like 10 cars. And the last time I did this was a long time ago and I knew that it went a long time. So p please relax, sit back, go get your popcorn, your drink, whatever you want to do, whatever you like to eat. Please sit back and enjoy this review of this wonderful end scale product. So these two Cotto products are in the bookcase series, if you'd like to call them. And they are very much like a bookcase. They have a spine. And they have a kind of a latch to keep them open and closed. Now, these might look, I mean, a bit odd compared to some other end scale trains as they come in ins individual packages, but it works quite well for Kato, and they've and they've packaged a lot of their trains like this in their bookcase section. So first, we're going to be taking a look at the six car set. We're going to put the four car set over there for a second. So with the six car set, I see something different. I see a slide over it. So to move, put the bookcase of the way I see this, and it looks like a bit. It's a bit worn, but that's normal for these Kato sets. They are very, very. They get worn very, very much. So, so put that aside. So there's nothing much interesting. Just the Kato emblem and recommended age is 14 years or older. I'm probably breaking that rule. And the maximum on DC is 12 volts. So we're gonna take a look at that. Okay. So now we have the actual bookcase. Just scoot that aside. Now we're going to unlatch the little latch that's holding it from falling all out. And then, voila, we have the train. So we have a RPO, railroad post office, baggage car, a just a regular coach, a diner, a sleeper, and a, um, a observation car. Now these cars can go in any order as you'd like. If you'd like to put the observation car first, it's all up to your preference. So it really doesn't matter about what you like. It's really all about what you like and not what is supposed to be done. But it might look better if they've recommended it. So we have the, in this little bag, we have the coupler trip pins. And these just can get slid in into the coupler. I'll show you that in just a sec. But I'll put this back in. And we're gonna take a look at the RPO car. Now this RPO car is very, very detailed. It has, I mean, on the top, you can see all the individual metal plates. And if you run your finger along, you can feel the rivets. Yep. If you hear that, that's all the little individual rivets. So on the side, we have nice, good door detail. I mean, it's pretty good. Not molded on grab irons. The diaphragm is non-moving. Same on the other side. There is not much going on with these. I do not see much. I do not see a diaphragm on this side. I, don't, I do not think that it came this way, but that does not look normal. I think it came like that. I'm not sure. I'll have to do some research into it. But it's not the biggest detail since this car is normally coupled up to another car. So it's not world-ending or anything. So we have like the little half-baggage car section here. And we have the little area where the, um, the, the post office guy or the mailman would work organizing all the stuff. Now he'd work in this entire car, moving from section to section to section, organizing all the letters to be dropped off at the individual stations as they went along this route. Now the Chicago Northwestern, they traveled from, well, Chicago and Northwestern. So they went to Milwaukee, they went a bit north to Milwaukee, maybe all the way up to um, Green Bay. They also traveled into Minnesota and through some other areas like that in the Midwest. So this car, very nice crisp lettering under magnification you can read just about everything on this but there's not much else to read now we have the on truck couplers which are which care better sometimes better and sometimes worse than the body mounted couplers so we have the united states mail railway post office little sign it's very small and kind of did a very nice job applying this little decal moving to the bottom we see the little generators and all of the piping and tubes and septic tanks for the bathroom. It all looks very nice. We have the Kato Made in Japan emblem. It's kind of difficult to read, just right above my finger. Yeah, I think you guys can see it. Kato Made in Japan, yes. Now, all these trucks have, all the, these, the locomotive has the capability to pick up um, electricity if you'd like to make it lighted. It is possible Kato does offer a lighting kit. 
See by the little brass pickups there? They pick up from the wheels and they transfer it there and then it goes into that the car. So that's that. Moving on to the next car on the consist. We have the baggage car. There's not too much about this baggage car. It is very, very similar to the, the RPO car, except that it's just a full baggage car. One thing that I mainly noticed is it is very smooth on the side. I do not feel very many rivets, except for the ones lining the bottom and the ones lining the top. On the top, it's very smooth. I can run my finger across it very nicely. Two nice diaphragms. Bottom, septic tanks. You can pick up all-wheel pickups, body-mounted couplers. It's all quite nice. The made in Japan is on the one of the generators or heaters. I thought that was very innovative of them to put it not just on the the underframe but on the generator itself. So that's that car. Put that back in there. Now we have the coach. This coach is similar to that. It is smooth side. No rivets on the side, but on the top there are rivets like the RPO. We see that. There's an interior in there if you'd like to put some little end scale figurines in there. It would probably work, but it would require lots and lots of tedious work that I don't think I'm going to have any time to go through anytime soon. So under here we have more generators, more tubes, more piping, more septic tanks, more nothing, more lots of stuff than compared to the baggage car since that just held baggage. Same with the uh, truck mounted couplers. They can all pick up electricity. That's the same with just about all of them. Moving on to the next car, the dining car. Okay, first impression of this, it is very, quite nice. We have this little thing on it. I don't really even know what that is, and I'm confused by it. We have the exhaust. This is a dining car. There's a kitchen in here, and that's where the exhaust of the, um, the fans, like when you cook something, the, the smoke or steam comes up, and that's where it all goes. It goes out into the air. So we see like a half dining area where people would sit at tables and there's, there seem to be tables in there. Might be difficult to make out, but I think that there are tables in there. We have like a little walkway here. It's quite nice. Under here we have even more detail due to the, it's a dining car. You wash stuff down the drain and other stuff that you do in the dining room, dining car. All the wheels can pick up electricity. All body-mounted couplers, or, um, yeah, truck-mounted couplers. And that's that for this car. Put it back in there. Now, Kyle does use a very hard foam on this, so it very it will protects the locomotives, or uh, protects the um, cars. So now I'm moving to the sleeper. Now, this car is interesting, because all the other ones, you have, like, half rivets and half smooth, or vice versa. This one has lines can't really see it very well but there are lines on there or there are little divots and this one's completely smooth and there are the little skirts on the side to protect or sh to not show the underbody which is all of that since you need a lot for sleepers since people have like baths and showers in there same with the body mounted or the truck mounted couplers on one end i do see a diaphragm with a window like a door on the other end i do not I don't know what's going on there. Maybe a prototypical thing that Kato did, but I'm confused why they did not put a door on this end. So that's confusing. So now we have this this end, which the um, the double bunks, classic 50 streamliners, and moving on to the observation car. So now again we have those little wires. I don't know what those are. Now these two red lights on the end, they do light up. I might be able to, I don't think I'm able to show what they do look like illuminated red, but I mean, they do, they are very bright red. On the back we have the CNW emblem, Chicago Northwestern. It can be red under magnification. On the bottom, still those skirts to hide the, um, um, the underbody. Looks very nice. No coupler on this end. Very peculiar. Body mounted cup or truck mounted couplers again. Gotta mess that up. Now there are seats in this, and this those seats are very like facing the in, facing in, so it's kind of difficult to see. But there are seats. But yes, there are seats and there are tables and there's other stuff in this that I can't even see probably. So we've finished this 
first bookcase set. So I'm going to close that up. And close that. And now we move on to the second bookcase set. Now, Kato does have two engines for this that I do have somewhere. But I don't know where they are. Onward we go to the four-car add-on set. So it turns out that I do have those two E8s. Oh, one fell. I'm not going to be doing a review on them. That's for another video. Please comment in the in the comment section below if you'd like to see a review on these. These are just regular DC. I It's a small, very, very small possibility that I could be able to upgrade these to DCC, but it's not on my list in the future, so just comment down below if you'd like me to upgrade them, and I will probably do it. But now we're on to the four-car add-on set. Now, this four-car add-on set does not come with a sleeve like the six-car one did, so we're just going to go straight in. Unclip it. And we see that we have a couple of trip pins again up here, another baggage car, which we already looked at, another coach car, which we already looked at, a sleeper that we already looked at, but then we have a dome car. Now this is odd. Now it has the same as a sleeper, one with and one without a door. Now the dome, I have not seen any photography of the CNW using a dome car. I'll probably have to look into it in the future, but I have not seen any any clarification that they did use a dome car. So that is one not as prototypical feature of this. So under, you can show the ability for lighting, more and more underbody stuff. I don't know what this is. I'll take a look at it. It might be mm, generators to power all the lights, but there is a lot of stuff under here. Uh, there are the metal plates with the rivet. You can hear that there. And inside of the um, the dome, it's kind of very difficult to see. There are kind of seats. You can't really see them though. They kind of just like little indents. You kind of see it. And in this side, yeah, there are seats again. So if you'd like to put figurines in there, it will work out for you. And that's that. Putting this, the dome car back in there. The dome car doesn't make a good addition to the set because, well, it adds a more 1950s effect to it. So right now I'm going to show a couple clips of the CNNW 400 all together with the two DC locomotives. <laughs> watching this review I appreciate you guys coming out here and looking at all my stuff and appreciating what I'm doing at end scale now now to close off this set uh, this review of the beautiful Chicago Northwestern six car and four car add on set which makes a 10 car set beautiful beautiful love this I have to give this a solid 9 out of 10 the only reason I'm taking a single point off is because of prototypicalness they're missing some very very small details in there and I think that might be might be possible to do in a second run if they ever do one. Now this was only re this lo this passenger set was only released for a couple of years, and I somehow managed to get my hands on one fr from eBay. So I've got the the four car add-on set and the six car regular set and the two engines in mint condition, brand new from Kato for five hundred dollars. Yes, 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 that might seem like just a bit more than you might willing to be paid, but I'm a big fan of CNNW, and I felt like this would really add on to my collection. So, this has been Duke's Trains. Thank you for watching this astounding review, or amazing review, and please continue along loving N-Scale and loving model trains altogether. Thank you, and I'll definitely see you in the future.